Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jumped the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I have a meeting. The Count... Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlav? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? At least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What? Awake at last, you ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <clears throat> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems dead laugh had made friends with him, still killed him, and chopped up his corpse. And he was overcome with fury, remorse. Cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm, interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlaf. Keep in mind, it did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Detlaf first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district, and the boot black acted as if he knew Detlaf. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. 
I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. So you're back. Wouldn't mind. Wouldn't mind.
Sweet. Wouldn't mind a Interested in the weapon? Sever his hand. Want to keep an eye on him? You, you little fart. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? His father. And you won't touch him. I won't let you. Oh, poppycock. I knew his father. A grifter, a cheat, just like his brood. I'll teach him honesty. He'll not leave muck at our shop door just to draw patrons to his own stall. So back away, drifter. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Yeah. Eek like Lepio we'll to set your legs, vagrant. Yeah. Teach yeah. you yeah. to help Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Circle him! Circle oh. him! All together, on three! What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast, on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. Obstructing my investigation. Understood. Right. 
A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to impede official touchy business. Come on. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Yeah? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership. And as you're the stronger, come morn you'd take the chamber pot out and help me make more. Bit about the muds true? They were... I've got to make a living some, so... What... Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they've just come off my stamp. A seat, sir, please. So then... Who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand, with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And, if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get wastewater for free. Hmm, got it. I should think so. No way. Not about to contribute to your shady venture. You'll tell me what you know, for free. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. As you wish, sir. I know the fellow you seek. Though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Oh. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which to... When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I have the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial. One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of... With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the... Uh, but you won't hurt him, will... In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a... F I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is... Worth checking. My Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sir. Thank you. Perhaps... Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right... Approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Red door. One the boot black mentioned. Down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? 
A skill like that had come in off. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Disturbing. Nice little trinket. Attic, let's go. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Detlaf van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoid. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Any idea what it could be? Indeed. Detlaf gains foes occasion. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renowed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was... Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile... Never meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came around to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it... Did Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leave. Even if Renoir did abandon him that time, looks like some... Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. 
Need to look around some more. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyrin, Count de Lacroix. Detlef's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter. All of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral. Pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Detlaf's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detlaf's innocence, clearly. Not how I'd put it. Doubt it's how the Duchess will see it either. I trust you to convince her. Then... What? Go on, don't be shy. See you've got it all figured out, including the grin I gotta wear. It's a rather bold plan, but... Were we to find Renawed, we would strip the blackmailers of their hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'd await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both.
Get me off to death. What do they call you? Name's Geralt. No crest, no motto, no plumed helmet even. I'm a witcher. Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... well, indeed, for... for... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. By napping outside the cave for a fortnight? I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I, I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, uh, I a should be the one to lop off its head. We gotta kill it first. Hmm, strange. No sign of Katori. You'd think you were in a winter garden. Feeding. Need to lure it. To work. 
My truth. I, I, I'm. High time. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is. Uh, the world awaits. Uh, to. Take my advice. I beg your pardon. That I wish to make my beloved's name known. Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels. All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Witches work. Damn hard, dangerous, and... Find some other way to prove your valor. Only thing you... You do not mince words, Master. In Tucson, one might demand... Yet? There is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I suffice...
Come on, Roach. Let's go! Banquets ah. and wine are rather suited for pleasant. Kiss a doll's ass. What will the morrow bring? Got good news. As do I. Francois has written prenuptial teachings at the temple tomorrow. <sighs> and good fortune to you on your path. Granny Chow.
tries to stop fish. Let's look around. Shattered dishes. Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe? What the? Somehow. Shaken off, maybe?
way. This. Tunnels are the work of something much bigger. Something with heavy, wide claws. Damn it. Yum could hatch any minute. Underground stream. Hmm. Monster I'm looking for lives underground, digs tunnels, feeds on kicking moors, and is big. Very big. Don't learn anything else here. Time to go back to the surface. 